Well, hello, boys and girls. Are you ready for part two of your Mother's Day project? Okay. Now, remember, if you've not completed part one yet, you need to do that first. Okay. So remember to go in order. Okay. Now, um, in, during part one, you completed your writing. You'll see that I also did uh, my own writing. Okay. And also I asked you to um, trace and cut out your hands, okay? Using the green piece of construction paper that was included, okay? For today, you're gonna need um, scissors. You're gonna need all your parts, okay? Your pot, your flowers, your uh, sheet of uh, blue, the large blue construction paper, as well as your hands, okay? Now, you also need a uh, glue stick and also your liquid glue. Okay, go ahead and put these pieces to the side just for a moment. I want you to take a pencil and I want you to, you, um, everyone's blue sheets of paper were folded, okay? I want everyone to, on uh, the fold, on one side of the fold, I want you to write your first and last name. your number symbol and your class number, okay? And then I want you to open it up and this is now the back side, okay? So open it up, okay. Now, on the bottom half, okay, we're going to place, we're gonna place uh, some pieces first, okay? We're gonna place our pot. You'll see that it's been cut, okay? here already um, for you. Okay, that was the top part. And we're going to make sure that this fits just nicely, um, that it evens up with the fold, okay? Don't start gluing yet, class, okay? Then we take our hands, okay? I'm gonna move this down a little bit. So go ahead and um, class glue the bottom part of your um, pot, but do not glue the top part, okay? So I'm just gonna lift it up using my glue stick. And I'm going to just put a little bit of glue here on that bottom part. Not the, all the bottom part, just the just the very bottom, okay? Maybe halfway up. And then I'm gonna stick it down, okay? I can always add more um, glue. Then I'm gonna press it down, okay? Making sure this part lines up with my construction paper, okay? We want this part to be loose because what we wanna do is we wanna take our green hands, okay? And these are gonna become the stems of your flowers, okay? We need to place our hands here so that our thumbs are crossing, okay? Just like if you did this, okay? Remember when we learned, uh, when we were learning um, today about um, shadow puppets, okay? And um, during that uh, time, that book, um, or that story actually, you you learned how to cross your thumbs in order to um, form a bird. Okay, so I want you to cross your thumbs. Okay, now cross your thumbs and then lay it down, see what it looks like. And I like that. Okay, and then I want you to glue these pieces down. Okay, we're gonna glue our hands first, okay? So I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna glue the one down below first. So I'm gonna flip it over. Add a little bit of glue stick here. Careful not to get your glue on your blue paper, okay? And I'm gonna 
can reposition it. Put my hand down, press my hand down. Okay, oop, I need some glue on my pinky. Okay. And then I'm going to take my other hand. And actually, class, you know, now that I think about it, go ahead and your hands are going to be even smaller probably than mine. So go ahead and not cross your thumbs. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, because we kind of want your the stems to be um, going across your paper, okay, and filling it in. So um, go ahead and put some glue on the back side of this hand. and then press it down again don't cross your thumbs class if you're if you're not able to because my hands are really tiny so in my hands remind me of a kid's hands a little bit okay just a little bit bigger and move your fingers down <laughs> let me add a little bit more now Put some glue on the other side of your pot. And you wanna press it down. Okay. Then class, for this next section, you can choose to use liquid glue or um, stick glue, okay? You don't need to use your scissors anymore. Everything's been cut out. So we're gonna, I'm gonna move this down so you can see, okay, best I can. What you wanna do is you wanna take out your, um, your flower pieces. And you'll notice I've given you a variety of colors, okay? And I'm gonna choose to vary my colors. Okay, so I'm gonna lay out my pieces first so I can see my colors that I have. And everyone has different colors, okay? And certain amounts of each color. Try to give you plenty, okay? I'm gonna lay out my flowers here. I wanna position them first and then I can glue after it, okay, because I want to position my flowers first. So that's what you want to do, class. You want to position your flowers so that you can um, glue after, okay? Remember, you're going to put the little ones inside so that you won't end up seeing class. Ultimately, you're not gonna end up seeing your, um, your fingers, okay? So. so have fun positioning your flowers class and then start gluing when you're ready, okay? You move them around, that's why I'm positioning my flowers first before I even start gluing anything, okay? I wanna make sure I don't wanna move anything. So once you start gluing, that's pretty much it, right? Kinda move. This one here. Again, class, you're going to position your flowers and then you'll glue at the very end. Okay.
So I think this is what mine's going to end up looking like, class. I'm going to start taking one up at a time and gluing, picking up one at a time and gluing, and then putting it back down. So class, have fun today. Send me a picture of your completed uh, Mother's Day project when you're finished through your class uh, dojo account.